there is a deeper and more intimate way of enjoying the kingship of God, and this is through His Son, Jesus Christ. A proper way to begin enjoying this relationship is by first of all accepting Jesus as Lord of your life, and this is what we call salvation. The intention of God the Father is made very clear to us in John chapter 3, verse 16, that He loved the world so much that He gave His only Son to die for our sins, and anyone who believes in Him will not perish but have eternal life. Amen. I'll say salvation is a starting point for anyone who desires to understand and enjoy the kingship of God the Father. The Bible tells us in Romans 10 verse 9 that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. This is the only way to be saved. Amen. To bypass what this verse says and seek any other way is self-deception. Amen. Here is another truth I want us to understand. Without salvation, you cannot see nor enter the kingdom and begin living the kingdom lifestyle. Secondly, after salvation, there is what Jesus referred to as the kingdom. When we talk about the kingdom, we are not referring to a physical location, but rather a way of living, a way of doing things. Jesus himself speaking to Nicodemus, a Pharisee, ruler of the Jew, said this, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. And we see this in John chapter 3, verse 3. Then later in John chapter 3, verse 5, Jesus speaking to Nicodemus said this, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Amen. So you see that this is a systematic process. You cannot escape one level and think you make it at the next level. Salvation grants you the permission to see the kingdom. The word and the spirit then grants you entrance into the kingdom. Amen. So I'll say this. Your initial entry into the kingdom is not a guarantee that you always be in there. It takes the word to understand the kingdom such that such that you do as it directs you to do. Amen. You may ask yourself, how are all this related to, the, to our topic of interest, the relational attributes of the Father? It is very much related in that He is King, as previously stated. Amen. And a better way to enjoy the relational aspect of His kingship is through His Son, Jesus. Amen. There was no other way to get you to a place of understanding of how the process works without briefly mentioning the reason for his death, how to be saved, an idea of what the kingdom is all about, and the difference between seeing the kingdom and entering the kingdom. So I'll conclude by saying this. If you have not accepted Jesus as Lord of your life, I invite you to do so. If you need help on how to go about it, please do not hesitate to call us and we will be very glad to assist you in the process. Amen.